Lindsay's family. New at six with the criminal case court backlog at an alarming 66% now. The local administrative judge is reaching out for some help and he's getting it. Paul Venema with a look at what the sheriff is doing to address that backlog. An overcrowded jail and empty jury boxes. Both reminders of the backlog of cases awaiting trial as a result of the moratorium and jury service due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We're going to make sure that the, that the jail is not the reason for that backlog. Sheriff Javier Salazar has made additional space available at the jail in order to conduct more virtual hearings. But the reality of it is virtual hearings take up a lot more time. Um, there are a lot more work as it relates to trying to set them up. Hell reached out to the sheriff looking for ways to move along virtual hearings from the jail faster, and he got some help. We've added a whole bunch of computers. Uh, we've actually brought some deputies from the courthouse to the jail, bailiffs, uh, because basically they'll be doing the same function they, they served at the courthouse. They'll be doing that now, but it'll be virtual. Salazar said that the backlog has created additional overcrowding problems at the jail since the state prisons are not accepting inmates. So we're doing everything that we can behind the scenes to keep that process moving. As we know, the jury trials are going to be uh, put off for some time for the foreseeable future. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.